What's up, y'all? This is day six of Draytober. So, today's video is how I'm gonna tell y'all how I went viral on Facebook Reels. If you don't know what it is, stay tuned because I'm gonna tell you. What's up, y'all? we back again for another video in this video. I'm going to tell you how I went viral on Facebook Reels twice in the day. So basically, Facebook Reels, before, you, before, before I start this video, make sure you like it, comment, and subscribe. So this is going to be pretty simple and short. So Facebook Reels is basically TikTok, you know, all that. You're just reposting videos as well. And I think in some parts... They haven't started monetization on it as well, but you know, you can get monetized on Facebook, but you have to have like 10,000 followers and over 600,000 minutes watched on your page. But we're going to break down how mine started. So I started posting on there because they rolled out the feature, I think maybe last week or the week before that. So I started posting on there on Sunday. So last Sunday. So. Basically, I just just posted the videos from my TikTok and my Instagram as well. I just reposted those, but in a way, I waited. See, because the algorithm, it didn't kick in to maybe two to three days later. So, it, the algorithm didn't kick in until like yesterday. So, I posted on Sunday, but by Wednesday, the videos start jumping and jumping and jumping and jumping. Which they're still going up and up and up and up right now as well. So, the first thing you want to do is make sure, like, when you're doing your other content on other channels and you're spreading it out, make sure you save it on your phone. You know what I'm saying? And you can go back and edit it. You know, fix the quality of it. And then also, if it's a short video, please, you know, just make sure. The uh, emphasis is on the front, like the first three seconds of your video is where everybody's going to watch. The first three seconds, that's the key part of the video. So, you have to have good, you know what I'm saying? Something good, because people like good quality on the video. So, you have to keep that in mind. Also, also, when you, uh, so I post, it all depends on the first post. So, if you want to post on that, base it on the first post because, like, some people, but they don't, like, if the first post doing good, they won't post another to two, three days. No. If you had other videos from the other platforms, just post them on there. And then just let them sit. Don't do nothing else. Don't do nothing else. Now, some of them I try, I maybe one or two I tried with the, no, I only tried one with the hashtag, but the rest of them, I just posted them. I didn't put no titles or nothing on it, but you can put the titles and stuff on there. You can do that, but just for this sake and how I got mine flowing, I didn't put no titles on it. I just posted it. So, and then also, like, also, like, I know a lot of people don't have a lot of, like, following on Facebook, but like I said, once you post your videos, you get your content out there, people will notice. I'm going to also insert the pictures. Few, just a few pictures of the uh, so I can show y'all what it you know what the numbers was like so the first video was a, a video I posted on TikTok about it was about the gas shortage a few months ago so that was the first one that one is uh, sitting at over a hundred and seventy four thousand in account and the second one was a TikTok from the uh, twerking later so I did, did a lot of those duet videos today it was one duet video that's over a hundred and uh cause I, I you know periodically i check it it was so that was over 100k and then there's another one i got off this song it's called bounce i don't know make that bounce 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 that one's over 60k so with that in total you know what i'm saying if you're looking at your numbers don't, don't don't get too caught up in your numbers. I just look at the numbers just to make sure, like, if the numbers are good, 
that's the type of content I want to post. Or that's the type of content that the person watching it likes. So that, that helps you out. So you can find your niche and whatever. Whatever else you need. So you can push the content out to as many, as many people as you can. Also, like... I usually just repost the little um, snippets on my uh, Facebook. Or I have my a little other character page as well, like my uh, own page. So, and you just do that. Just, I mean, you just repost and then you start just moving along, moving along, moving along. But you have to know and understand that it takes time. So, you know, I learned that a lot because sometimes... I push out a lot of content, a lot of content, but other stuff I just don't, I might hold it or something and I don't post it, you know, every single day. Like so, and also, I'm doing this, you know, we've been doing this Vlogtober, we what, six days in? So, that's a challenge in itself, so, it, you know, so, if you get discouraged, don't worry about it, just keep posting, Cause like I said. One of them gonna hit, one of them may not hit, so but either way. The numbers are compiled together, so keep posting. And also remember, make sure, make sure you're looking at your numbers and studying the content to what people like. Because if they, whatever they like the most, just repost that. Or just make that different type type of video. Some people like certain talking videos. Like you can do, you can do those all day talking videos with uh, quotes, and you just you know have a message behind it. You can repost that and all that stuff. But remember, when you have your own content, you control what you want to post. So when you post, you know, with somebody else's content, it may get you know you know backlash, or it may not get pushed out to the right person. But also remember. Also remember this. If you stop, when are you going to finish? Because some people don't finish. Some people don't finish or get to, the, you know what I'm saying, next level of their content or just their channel because they get discouraged. They're like, well, my numbers is low. My things is not going. You have to keep posting. You have to keep posting because, like I said, eventually, eventually, when you stockpile up all that content and then you got that one good video, Everything else will start to go up because more people will see it and it get recommended and all these other things. So don't get discouraged about your content because it's going to come. You just have to find your lane. You know what I'm saying? Just just try try a little bit of everything just to get yourself out there so people can see your face and they'll recognize it in the end. But if you have any questions or concerns or just anything that you want me to uh, talk over, in another video about Facebook Reels, just leave it in the comments below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Peace.